What is going on, my meta millionaire slash meta head slash meta bangers? I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, baby. By the dip. Guys, got a Friday update for you. It's going to be kind of just a quick one today. We're going to run over some stuff, kind of just covering stuff throughout the week. Um, I do have some plans here Friday night, so this is pre recorded Thursday night, but going. So I have a video coming out Friday, so that way you're watching it tonight. But I will have updates Saturday and Sunday to cover if any big news happens Friday. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and hit that bell notification so you get these updates. So first, uh, I want to go over the Fintel website. That's right, guys. I got the premium Fintel uh, version. So that way, that's what the Patreon does. It supports me getting the premium uh, Fintel website. Uh, this was $90 to get for a couple of months, so it was 90 bucks for three months, so about $30 a month to get it. So anyone joined the Patreon group, all help is appreciated. So here you go. Uh, it says here the short volume ratio is 20.99%. The short interest of shares is 11.646 million. Short interest ratio is 0 0.99 days to cover. Short interest of float is 6.56%. The short squeeze score is 55.34, so kind of low. 50 says here, um, 50 is an average of short squeeze, so we are just slightly above the short squeeze of average 50, so nothing really alarming there. But as I say this in most of my videos, it is really confusing when we go down here and take a look at this. Uh, the update here that the short bar rate fees is costing them 2.79%. If they want to short the stock now if we get out here and take a look at this uh, we got updated numbers for July 28th and July 29th so let's run down these July 28 numbers uh, on the FINRA side the FINRA short volume on the 20th is 2.4 million shares the FINRA total volume was 5.8 million shares giving it a FINRA short volume ratio of 41.4 percent um, if we go over here then to July 28th on the Fender short volume is 2.4. The CBOE short volume is 928,000. The combined total volume was 7.54 million, given the combined short volume ratio of 44.2%. This is what I'm talking about in my videos. I must say I have the premium version here, but it is a little confusing because if we look here at even July 29th, it says that the FINRA short volume if the FINRA short volume ratio is 39.55%, on this is like the daily short volume ratio, guys. That's what this is giving me. How many shares are being shorted daily compared to how many shares are being traded daily? So every day is like 30, 40, 50%. But if we scroll down here and look at the overall short interest percent of float it tells me right here it's still 6.56 percent it's been that way the last four trading days now before that it was 11 percent so it almost got cut in half down so does that mean the shorts covered their you know short interest of float so i'm just kind of confused if i look up here these last couple of days that it's 57 percent 56 percent 59 percent 40 percent every day how is the percentage of float still short at 6.56 percent i must say that is a little confusing uh the short interest of official nasdaq data that has not updated since july the 15th but very interesting here it says here that they have a publication date of july 26 just a couple days ago and here it says the short interest was reported at 11.6 million shares and the float was 28 million shares. So it gave the short interest percent of float of 41% here on July the 15th. So that is looking a little bit more what I'm used to seeing. If we look back here on June the 30th, it was almost 70% short interest of float. So I'll be curious, because uh, the short interest of the official NASDAQ data, data guys updates twice a month. So I cannot wait to see when this updates here. And I will bring you that news. Now, I did cover here that this new company, the New Gen Asset Management, is shorting the stock. They bought put options. They're not traditionally shorting the stock, but they bought put options of 345,900 shares. Now, I do want to go update you guys on any new buyers and any new sellers. 
Uh, if you look here, the 29th, CWM did says it bought the 100 shares. Uh, the that new gen there bought those put options. This XR Securities bought 78,300 shares in calls, so they bought some. Uh, this STRS Ohio bought 14,000 shares. Uh, we do got some big ones down here. This Belvedere Trading bought 10,000 shares, and then they also bought call options at 217,000 shares. So I must say that is pretty impressive. And if you scroll down here and look, there is some big boys here. I mean, there's some big transactions, guys. These, uh, these uh, what do we call it? index funds here bought a lot of shares. Check this out. On July 22nd, this one index fund bought 176,000 shares with an average cost of $2.43. Uh, this other index fund bought 106,000 shares at $2.43 is their average price. And look at that one there. That one bought 678,000 shares and they have an average cost of $2.43. That is pretty amazing, I must say. If we go down here and cover the sellers, uh, we do have some sellers on here. I did cover this the other day, I think. But just kind of touching base, you can see the updated sellers here in the uh, pink. We can see everything updated there. So honestly, there's a lot more buyers than there is sellers. Now, if we go here to George's Twitter, Updating you guys quick on this. Uh, George has a couple tweets here. Video from Butterfly Wings to Meta Materials by Imperial College professor Sir John Pendry, one of the pioneers in our scientific field, the butterfly effect. And he has Meta Materials. So click on that, guys. I don't want to get any copyright, but here he does have a little gift down here of kind of what it is the rare phenomenon of natural meta materials. Imagine being able to reproduce on demand at scale at low cost nanomaterials like those on wings of butterflies to create structured light with no toxic paints or inks. 200 million year old nanotech evolution. So there you go. I must say that is really beautiful. I'm not going to lie, guys. And here is the post talking about the AEW event in 2021. And George said he cannot wait for November. It's going to be epic. A reality event kind of like augmented reality virtual reality is going to be everything there they're going to be partnered up with Qualcomm in there unity 3d Niantic Labs Adobe epic games Lenovo Lenovo and, and materials and Philips a lot of big dogs are going to be in there man super exciting here is the article and everything uh, if you click that about uh, the butterfly stuff here it will take you to the phenomenon of match natural materials and this is on uh, Meta Materials, Natural Materials page on their own website. So definitely go check this out. It's a great read, talking about everything they have there, guys. Uh, and to sum it up, here on the Torch X Meta Meta Material News, they're talking about possibly here we had a Torch Day. Now, who wants a Meta Day? Be here on August the second to be the first Meta Day on Twitter. Full of DD and more. Shareholders can also share memes, etc., to get our stock out there. This is ran by shareholders, not the company. And uh, they tagged a couple people here that you know we've covered their uh, information. Of course, they got George, they got Sterling on here, and Magic. So very interesting there. Uh, August the second uh, Meta Day. I must say I like it, and I will definitely be a part of Meta Day and posting on YouTube. I will do a post on Twitter as well. So comment down below, guys. What do you think? Are you excited about possible Meta Day and all the updates we covered in this video? I think it's a lot of great information. So uh, guys, like I said, hope you enjoy your Friday evening. I'm going to be out with some friends and all, so that's why I had this pre-recorded. So thank you if you stuck out to the end. Uh, we'll be back Saturday and Sunday and posting updates that I find out and possibly putting out a couple updates on some other stocks that people have been asking. So, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.